Friends, out of all the cool knives I had as a kid, the only two that have survived are these two knives right here. And the first knife, well, this is just a uh, Swiss Army knife. It does have the unique saw blade to it. A lot of the traditional features, like the, uh, the corkscrew here. It also has the toothpick and the tweezers. You know, it's got this little awl here in the back. I've shown you this knife before. It has a serrated blade. That's kind of unique. Um, you know, it's a spear point with a serrated blade. But this knife is not the knife we're here to talk about. I just wanted to show it real quick. The knife I want to talk about is this one right here. This is a Craftsman that I have had for at least 45 years, along with that Swiss Army knife. But this one here, I really don't know how old it is. I believe it is a lot older than that because it was given to me by my grandfather and it was already well used before I got it. Let's check out these blades. Now this little sheep's foot right here, you can see the wear. Look at that. And uh, it's got a fillet knife. You can see quite a bit of wear on there. And uh, there's your tang stamp on there. Craftsman Stainless USA 9552. And uh, the only thing that's keeping me from saying this is a knife from the 60s is that stainless steel. I don't think they had stainless back then, but here is what I thought was a spear point, and we'll talk about that a little bit more further in the video. But, uh, you know, it's still a good looking knife. They've been around for well over 45 years, and it's pretty cool. But I got another knife today. This is a new old stock. And we're going to unbox this and check it out. This is an Uncle Henry, and that's who made that Craftsman knife. And this is an 897 Uncle Henry, and we're going to unbox that. But before we do, please take a moment and subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share it to any of your friends who might like similar knife content. It's what keeps the channel going. Thank you. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and pull the lid off of this box and see what we got look at that still has that old waxy paper i forget what they call this stuff but let's set that aside and see what else is in here pull this insert out and we have all the original paperwork that these knives used to come with this is a gold mine right here check this out Wow, how cool is that? Let's see what we got here. Survival with the new Schrade Super Sharp Edge. Can be used as a machete to dress out a moose or a rabbit, huh? You got the 227, the 127 right there, the 153, the uh, 897 UH. That's the one we're looking at right here today. Let's see what's on the back here. We got the... Um, 885 the 285 look we even got a loss replacement policy if you lose your knife they take care of it here's how to sharpen your knife and there's the cover there this is the Uncle Henry signature collection let's put that aside and we have what is this okay let's see here this is the Charade Loss Replacement Policy. And here's the paperwork you filled out. Loss Claim Certificate. And um, all you got to do is fill this paper out if you lose your knife and you get another one. Here's where you put all your information. Huh? We forget all those things that these companies used to do for us. So let's put that in there. That is a treasure in itself right there. That's what's so cool about collecting knives. All right, let's unwrap this baby and check out the 897 Uncle Henry. Check it out. Beautiful, huh? That is probably imitation stag, just like that craftsman. You know, look at that. That is a nice looking blade. Let's put it next to my 
old knife. Well, they're both old knives. Just one's brand new, and one has at least 45 years of wear on it. All right. But check it out. Check out the difference in the bones. I mean, they're similar, but there's just a little bit of differences, huh? And the shields, a craftsman with that old crown, and then the Uncle Henry. Well, I don't know. Uncle Henry's kind of plain. You'd think they would have made that Uncle Henry a little bit easier to read. But um, everything else is almost identical. You know? And the fit and finish on these knives is really fantastic. You know? Somebody hand assembled these and hand finished them. Check out the sheep's foot. You can see what the new one looked like here versus the vintage one to the left. Look how much wear. That blade's not even straight anymore. You can see the scratches in it. Hmm? Quite a bit worn off, huh? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alright, let's check out the fillet blades. Yeah. Alright. Oh yeah. Yeah, that belly's completely worn off my original one. Look at that. That uh, sucker has got quite a bit of meat sharpened off of it. Here's our tang stamps. Craftsman stainless. Shrade stainless. Huh? They start out the same, but they're quite a bit different now. Sound about the same, though, don't they? All right, so here, this one last blade that I thought was a pin blade was actually more of a spade. Look at the tip. It's just so worn that it looks like a uh, spear point or pin point. But it was actually more of a spay blade when it came out. Here. Let's look at them here. See that? And look, it had a lot more belly on it, too, originally. That sucker's just been sharpened quite a bit, huh? Pretty cool, huh? All right. Like I said, they sound about the same. That knife has proven its durability, wouldn't you say? Let's see how these plays do. Nice. Nice, huh? Well, what a legendary knife. What a quality knife. Huh? What do you think? You think I should take the new one, put it back in the box, and keep it brand new and continue to use my old one? Well, let me know in the comments. Hey, check out our knife giveaways. And uh, thanks for viewing. Be safe out there.